So, Mawlana Ahmad Allahu Rahimullah, he explains, he says, when Allah Azza wa explained that he gave us a piece of earth, ard, and he gave us a sky and rain and food and, you know, wives and husbands and all the pleasures of this world, and suddenly the meeting of the day of judgment, why? Because, O oh, human being, O oh, human being, the sun was created and subjugated for your service. The rains came down for your service, for you to live. And the earth was there for your service, the houses for your service. And in the end, when Allah Azza wa Jal, just like the farmer, the farmer, he was after the seeds, he was after the corn, he wasn't after the rains and the sunshine, and he wasn't after the land. So in the end, it doesn't matter to him what's left behind. He wants the crooks, and he wants the whole point of what he was after. Allah Azza wa Jal will do the same thing. A human being and jinn kind. What Allah will do is He's only after the human kind and the jinns. And He will take them forth on the day of judgment. And everything else they had will be left behind. And we are the seeds of why and the whole purpose of why Allah Azza created us. And Allah will want to know on the day of judgment. Yes, the house that you had, that was the house that provided you. But the house is gone, the mortar has gone, the bricks have gone, the cement has been finished. The sofas that you sit, used to sit on has gone. But Allah Azza wa will want to know the a'mal and the actions that we did within those houses. That will remain. Allah said in the Holy Quran, مَا عِنْدَكُمْ يَنْفَدْ وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ بَاقْ What you have will eventually diminish to something that will have nothing remaining at all. Yanfad in Arabic is something where you had something of it, but it's always continuously diminishing, diminishing. It's diminishing. The deficiency is being caused within it. You put gas in your car, you have to refill it again because it's always being used. You bring milk at your house, after a couple of days you have to buy milk again because it's being used. Oh human, you are being, you, you yourself, you are diminishing. Time is diminishing you and you are coming to an end and eventually all the things around you will also diminish and come to zero, complete zero. You will not remain, nor will the things around you remain. But in the end, Allah says, وَالْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتِ The good actions you did, they are the things that will, will last. مَا عِنْدَكُمْ يَنْفَدُ وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ بَاقِ Whatever you've left with Allah will be there forever. So my friends, the monies that we have, it will end. And you have nothing from it except the sadaqah that you gave. The people you looked after with that money. The family that you spent on. The groceries that you brought. All of this you will be rewarded for. The halal spending you did, you will be rewarded for. The places where you were at the service of others with that money, you will be rewarded for. But the money that you had and you used it for sin. To sin. You used it to try and manipulate others. You used it for bribery or you used it for haram products or you used it in transactions that were not lawful. And all those things will be a witness, for you, a witness against you on the day of judgment. So what remains is not the money, the pounds, the pennies, the dirhams, the dinars, the dollars, the cents will be finished. Allah said, la bay'un fihi wa la khullatun wa la shafa'a. There's not even any transaction on this day. No money that's available. But what Allah will look at is the reward that has been, re that has been gained from the monies or the sins that people have acquired from the monies. My friends, we will be finished, the houses will be finished, but the tilawah you did and the recitation you did inside the house, that will remain forever. For the, for the earth beneath your feet has witnessed and heard the recitation and will be a witness for you on the day of judgment. And if you sinned in that house, that earth beneath you, Allah has said in the Holy Quran, إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضِ زِلْزَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجِ الْأَرْضِ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا That earth will be a witness for or against people on the day of judgment. And, it, and the human being will say, Malaha, what's wrong with it? Why is it, why is it shaking so violently? My friends, we ourselves, the communications we have, we will be finished. But from our conversations, those things that were good will remain. The help that we gave to one another will remain. The th good acts that we did will remain. But other things will be finished. Al-akhillā'u yawma idhin ba'duhum li ba'dun a'duwun illa al-muttaqeen. Allah has said that the closest of friends on the Day of Judgment will be enemies of one another. Except for those who, who, ha, who are always conscious of Allah Azza wa Jal. My friend, even the body that we have will be gone. The body that we have will be gone. It will deteriorate in the earth. And Allah will give us another temporary body for the day of judgment. Yes, but what, who are we? We are souls that are living. 
and our soul will last but our bodies will be finished and what we did with our bodies those are the things that will last forever the whole point of this is for us to wake up and to realize go to your houses today and look around and do not feel they are your houses they're not your houses they're the houses of your heirs they're the houses of those who will inherit you after your death. They're the houses, they, this is the house of your son or the house of your daughter. This is theirs. And your sons and daughters as they grow up should not think that is their house for it will transfer to others. We are sometimes fooled to think that because of the temporary enjoyments we have, we will be here for a very long time. Or we will be here until we decide to go from here. No, we don't decide. We didn't decide when we came here, and we don't decide when we're going to go from here.